What on guys, Command here, and welcome to another video on Star Wars Battlefront 2. We are finally back. It's been a long, long time. It's been a good few months, actually. Now, I do apologize about the lack of Star Wars Battlefront 2 content. Um, I was meaning to do this ages ago, but I never actually got around to it. Um, not this mod. This mod I was actually just picked up just when I decided to start um, recording. I was thinking, oh, what mods should we go for? What good mods are out there since I last recorded? And I saw this mod, which is actually a Mandalorian mod. Um, it Now, I know what you're thinking. I have done a Mandalorian mod before, but this one is slightly different. Now, the old Mandalorian mod we did was Mandalorian Wars. And that was between Death Watch and Mandalore. Now, I, again, I, di I sort of didn't understand it. Because, and I understand it a bit less now, because it didn't actually fit in with the continuity of Star Wars. Just sort of, like, it was there, and it's just something that somebody had made. I'm not dissing it at all, because it was a brilliant mod. But as far as, like, sense it made, it didn't make much sense at all. But this mod was based around the Clone Wars. In Season 6, um, it's based around Season 6, where Darth Maul, Savage Press, and Death Watch capture Mandalore. And then Darth Maul turns on... Um, pre Vizsla, and then, um, no, pre Vizsla turns on Darth Maul, and Darth Maul overthrows him, um, and then this starts a massive Mandalorian war. Now, this, um, mod seems pretty cool, so, without further ado, let's go. Alright guys, so I've literally just gone into the game, and I'm actually shocked and surprised, a good shock and a good surprise, uh, how good the models are. I mean, look at this. I mean, the, the Super Commander look a little bit, um, don't look as good as the, um, Death Watch. But look at the Death Watch. Look at this. Look at all of these characters you've got. Look at Obi-Wan Kenobi. He looks so much better. He looks so exactly like he is in the Clone Wars. And then we've got Super Commando. All of these guys. Look at Darth Maul and Savage Press. I mean, the lightsabers could use a bit of differentiating, but generally speaking, it looks amazing. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Unfortunately, um, we're stuck in third person. I, for some reason, we can't go into first person, which is slightly annoying. But, um, but yeah, this is brilliant. Let's just, oh right, die straight away. <laughs> right, let's go straight in, straight back in. Right, um, okay, right, we're back behind the thing. Can we go? No, the turrets are gone. Right. All right, boys, let's go. I also love the fact, oh god, okay, the hero, oh yeah, because they're units. The heroes are on the battlefield, that's what I love about these mods, the heroes are on the battlefield. That is brilliant, that is actually amazing. Right, open fire, where's Darth, uh, where's Savage Press? I think Savage Press has actually died. But the thing is, what I like about these types of mods is, because the, um, is because um, the characters, either the characters have got low, lower health, so you and the AI got lower health, or um, your oh god, it's Darth Maul, it's Darth Maul, die, 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 yeah, got him. Um, also, oh, I killed one of my guys thinking it was him, never mind. Um, yeah, that was an aerial kill. Um, yeah, what I like about these types of mods is that they, um, because either the guns are really OP, or the, um, or you don't have as much health, but you die a lot, but it means that you can kill other people a lot. Um, and I think it's really, really cool, the way they do it. Um, shotgun, watch pistol, blaster rifle, a version 2 blaster rifle. Um, okay, let's, let's use the lieutenant. Let's use the lieutenant, see where we get to. Um, yeah, it, it looks, it makes it like a lot more, oh god. Well, Darth Maul literally just chucked his lightsaber and got me. Um, yeah, it makes it makes it look, seem a little a lot more lifelike, and uh, how much like a battle should be with like lots of deaths going ten to the dozen. It seem it is really life makes it look really lifelike, and I like that game, that mods like that are making make uh, making like Star Wars Battlefront Two because if you look at the Star Wars Battlefront Two, it you have to have like um you have to hit the um, your enemy like n a ridiculous number of times. Oh god, the thing's been breached. Ah, where's my engineers? Engineers, redo it. Um, yeah, it's. I need to. Um, you need the um, to hit your enemy stupid amounts of times before um, you end before you end up killing them. And it just doesn't seem like how a game should how like. Um, 
the Star Wars universe what would be. It's like no, loads and loads of kills. Whereas with this, I can just shoot your shoot your enemy like three twice. That was, and it kills them, which actually makes it a lot more um, uh, interesting and better. The only unfortunate part to it is is that that um, that has been shared um, through the hero units, and that makes them really easy to kill. Which I, again. It's more lifelike because it makes you need. It makes you think that you need to defend more, um, and like with let's say Savage Press and Darth Maul and Obi Wan Kenobi, you need to like, use your blocking and whatnot. But it, but it, that's the thing that's sort of the back end of it that it doesn't seem lifelike enough. But I mean, there's only four heroes in this game, and there's like <laughs> the heroes don't take up. The, don't take up the main part of the battlefield. It's only a small amount, so it's not a major problem. It's not like I can think, oh, these the 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 less shots of um, the low the low end shots of um, the that takes to take down a hero makes the game any worse because it doesn't. It sort of it doesn't particularly matter that much. It doesn't make. It's not a massive game changer. Um, but as we can see now, we're playing as Obi Wan Kenobi, and actually, actually, I'm just thinking, my wow, I would say that, and then I just absolutely got um, blasted into the sky and died. But my health didn't actually go down that that low. But also, these characters are so good; they actually control really, really well. They control how Obi Wan did um, did in the game. Plus the look of Obi Wan of um, Obi Wan from the Clone Wars, that it actually makes this this even better. I think this is actually probably one of the best mods I've actually played um, against the. Um, I think it's probably one of the best mods I've actually played up against the. Um, the uh, what mod was it? The Force the Force Awakens mod with the First Order. That was a pretty good mod. That one was that. That holds my holds the holds its place as number one, definitely. And um, I do, now that mod now that mod is just beast because of the because of how they ch managed to change the mods. Things like this, the Mandalorians and like Jango Fett and Boba Fett, they're already in here. Um, and they own and but with the Force Awakens mod, they only had one movie to go go against. They didn't have anything else. Like now with Star with like Star Wars Battlefront 2 EA coming out, they've got like they would have had and they tried to remake the mod. They'd have a load of um, a load of better like assets to use and to deal with. But it's not. But um, so it might may make the game a little bit better. But at the moment, it's it's not like it's not the best. Don't get me wrong. But to by, based off of what they had to, to had to use, what they had at their disposal to use, which wasn't a lot, they it was actually very impressive what they managed to pull out the bag. So for that, I'm rather impressed with them, and that's why that mod is is in my opinion the best out of the two. So um, I do apologise if people think that this mod that people expect me to say this mod is the best, but it's it's a close second. I'll say that much. Alright guys, so now we're playing as the Super Commandos. Now, I actually completely forgot that I didn't actually um, play as previous of that last round. So, we're hopefully going to try and play as both um, Darth Maul and Savage Press in this game. Um, this is also... Um, um, I had to actually restart the game just because... When we were quite into the into the game last time and, we all, and the... Um, Super Commander sort of had a very high advantage at the time. Um, and also, I just wanted to try again, just because I wanted just to start over, apparently. <laughs> um, the wantings of me, I suppose. Right. Now, I also like how they managed to get all of the, um, all of the soldiers to have jetpacks. I mean, I know they probably wouldn't, they couldn't release the mod without having some way of doing that. But I just think it's really cool how they did it. Let's see if I can zoom Oh, it's really weird. I I don't play in first in third person at all. I'm a first person person. <laughs> if that makes sense, I'm a first person person. So third person doesn't work for me. Um, but let's try and take right. With my guys are taking this control point up here. Why are you guys setting each other on fire for? It's not good. Right. 
Ah, charge into a battlefield. It's suicide. Die. Thank you. Die mid air. Ah, there you can die as well. Oh, yeah, we got our guys coming across the shores of the sea. Come on. Um, flank them from behind. Outflank them. That's what I was looking for. I was, go I was going to go say overflank them, but I knew that wasn't right. So then I said flank them from behind, and then I exactly. And then I knew it is to them and um, outflank them. Right. Um, all right, let's get this guy. Actually, can I go up here? Can I go up here with a sniper rifle? Um. Aha. Right. Let's go up here with a sniper rifle. I wonder how this would, what would, what would happen here. Again, I'm not ma Again, I'm still no better at sniping than I used to be. Ah, uh, die. I didn't even kill him. Ah, uh, headshot. There we go. These are those one-shot snipers, which is slightly annoying. Then you have to reload every after each shot. And some of those don't even kill the guy. A start of Battlefront um, series resolution. I'm going to get better at sniping. I actually killed my own guy by mistake. <laughs> that's how bad. That's how bad I am. Whoops, I don't want to do that. That's how bad I am with the sniper. I'm actually killing my own guys. Ah, and then some guys just come up and flank me from behind. Right. Right, charge. Come on, die. Die, all of you, die. All, all heretics and traitors of Mandalore must die. Everybody who does not follow da uh, the god that is Darth Maul must die. Whoops. <laughs> or I can die myself, because you're stronger than me. Um, right, let's have a go with Savage Press. Again, what I'm saying is that the models could do it with a bit of work. As I can see, so Archer Press's hand is a bit, like, weird. Um, but I, th I like how they managed... I mean, it it didn't need much to a lot of work because it just needed to look a bit... Uh, um, it, they just got Darth Maul's um, uh, like original character and then just remodeled it. But yeah, it, it's really, really good. Let's play with Darth Maul for um, a bit. See how many kills. See if we can go on a mass killing spree. I killed Obi Wan in disguise. <laughs> I like how it always just says Obi Wan Kenobi brackets in disguise. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Charge. Die. All of you die. There we go. I think I killed Bo Katan. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Ki I killed Bo Katan. Hence where that talking game. I'm not sure if you guys heard it. You probably did, but. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really cool mod. I do like it. I just got one of my own guys then and left the other guy and left the enemy alive. Die, please. There we go. Throw it. Oh no, you can't. Can you throw your lightsaber? There we go. Oh god. That, right, that was my death. <laughs> that was the cause of my death, me throwing my lightsaber. Right. Um, I really should spawn a bit closer. I'll do that next time. I'll change my spawn point. Right. Charge, move forward. Die, everybody. Oh, dear. Die, please. There we go. I'm saying please die, but... Yeah, you will die. You will die whether you like it or not. Also, I just noticed, just from just from that, they still got the CIS sounds. I'm not sure if they could actually do anything about that, but... No, nah, never mind. Um, oh, yeah, just as I choose to go over go over to the CIS... Um, go over to there, they take it. Right, we're going to stop this from happening. Nobody will... Ah, nobody will survive if you come to me. Oh, hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, come on, I missed. I'm on fire. Die. Thank you. And you will die as well. Right. Right. Command, command post is under Confederacy c control, even though it's not. Let's just say, come on. Uh, I don't know what button it is. No. Ah. Just, yeah, it's one. No, ah, fuck no. Command post is under death watch control. I forgot which button to press then. Here we go. Um, hello. Yeah. Die. There we go. Die. All of you, die. Aha. Right. Everybody, die. Oh, God. Got him. Got him. Just got him then. Right. Got a massive killing spree. Oh, look at this. Massive killing spree. And then it just got blown out of the sky. Right, let's play a bit of Darth Maul and see if see if Darth Maul um, wields any better. Um, 
No, you might. You're my guys. You're friendly. I can't stress enough how good these models look. They look absolutely insane right now. Right. Die. Oh, yes. Massive killing squeeze. And then I just die instantly. Oh, look, it's Blue Vista. And Obi-Wan Kenobi. I haven't seen them a lot recently. <laughs> no. Nice to see you, as they say in the business. We. Oh, would you look at that? Die. Yes. Bo Katan. Die. I'm surprised Bo Katan actually survived. I don't know what happened to um, her after um, the end of the Clone Wars. I think she just carried on fighting. I mean. There's a, there's not a lot of details about what happened to Mandalore after um, the clo after the Clone Wars TV show ended. There's a bit of like um, stuff with in the Ahsoka novel about what happened to her after Order 66. There's just like a few um, pages in a in that book or a few like a few paragraphs in the audio book. If you listen to the audio book, you can't be asked to read like me. <laughs> um, I will just say this. Um, Something I just have noticed is Darth Maul. Darth Maul is very much more uncontrollable, and it's very much harder to control than um, the other heroes. I'm not sure why that is. Whether it's just me being an idiot, um, but in the way of like lightsaber combat, it is he's very hard to control. And if you play this, you may disagree with me. It may just be me being an idiot. But to me, it seems like unless I unless I'm in a crowd like this where I can just swing my lightsaber and kill about kill five five to seven enemies without even thinking about it, I can uh, I don't really get anywhere with um, swinging with swinging my sword at things. But um, see, like here, I'm getting like loads of kills because I'm just swinging my sword around like loads of enemies and I can just get kills anyway. But with Obi Wan and um, Savage Press, if I look, if I go to Savage Press a minute, I can I can just get kills just straight up like that, and I can just get kills just like that, and it's not hard. But with okay, get back up. But like, but with like this, I can I can go up to this guy and I can kill him. I mean, I died then because Focus and killed me. But I can not. But I can. If there's one guy there, I can kill him straight away. With Darth Maul, I can't do that. I don't know why. Um, whether it's something wrong with the programming or what. But that won't. That just doesn't happen for some reason. And then I just get blown across the map. <laughs> oh dear. Alright guys. So that is about the end of this um, let's play here. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit. Um, random and all over the place, but I was so mesmerized in getting playing into the game, and I, I just wanted to. Uh, this was the that was the first time I tested it out a little bit, but that was the first time me actually playing um, that mod straight up, um, like long term, and I was just mesmerized by how good it looks. So, um, if you want to download the mod, um, the link to it is in the description on mod database. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> sorry for that. Um, I then, um, <laughs> uh, that, that burp put me off. Something else for the bloopers. Um, right. So, <laughs> lost my train of thought. Alright, so that's all we've got time for in this Let's Play of Star's Battlefront 2 today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed. I'm sorry that this, um, video was a bit all over the place i was just personally so mesmerized by everything that happened now what we're going to be doing next episode is um maybe having a look at stars battlefront 3 legacy because i really want to do that mod with you but at the I, just, I tried it and i just didn't know whether it fit good into a video but i hopefully i'll get that to work and record and we'll do that as soon as possible so Anyway, um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to smash the like button and hit that subscribe button for more awesome gaming content. And I shall see you all later. Bye!